this sure sounds like the plot for a reality show. For the first time ever, ordinary people are taking part in a contest in Florida hunting exotic, Burmic, exotic rather, Burmese pythons. As Anna Warner shows us, the idea to use rookies came from the pros. Alligator Ron Bergeron's family has called the Everglades home for more than a century. Yeah, I've been on this island for about 65 years. You know, when you spend your whole life in the environment, uh, you, you learn every square inch of the beautiful Everglades. These fields of sawgrass and marshy woods are also home to 68 threatened or endangered species, birds, hundreds of alligators, and something you can't see, tens of thousands of Burmese pythons. The snakes are foreign predators devouring the native animals that belong here. They can eat bears, you say, even panthers, mm -hmm. deer? Deer, hogs, and smaller animals. Which is why on Saturday, the state of Florida kicked off what it calls the Python Challenge, a month-long snake hunt with prizes for those who catch and kill pythons. 1,000 people have signed up, most of them amateurs, like Sean and Kate Hicks of Kingsland, Georgia. We have zero experience, zero hunting experience, and uh, I've never killed anything ever. Uh, we'll see. I don't know. Sean heard about the challenge and signed up as a Christmas present for his wife. We brought a big 18-inch machete, 18-inch knife. So, uh, Do you know how to use it? No. No, I've never used it before in my life. I assume I just swing it real hard. Officials admit the snakes can be dangerous and inexperienced hunters need to be cautious. So you don't want the animal to wrap around your torso? Jeff Fobb teaches would-be hunters like Sean and Kate how to handle the massive snakes, although he'd prefer they be caught, not killed. It's not what I would choose, but it, it, we have to live in the real world. And the real world is there's not enough places to take and send these animals. That would be safe. The hunt won't eliminate the python problem, but it's a start. Professional hunters George Brana and Ruben Ramirez bagged three on Sunday, including this six-footer. Even Sean and Kate Hicks found what could be a snake, albeit a much smaller one. For CBS This Morning, Anna Werner in the Florida Everglades. Uh, nor you think we'll see Gail rushing down to the Everglades for this. <laughs> You're looking at somebody who drinks Shirley Temple. Do I look like I would do that? I'm thinking, what could possibly go wrong? And I love the guy that said I did it as a Christmas present for my wife. Does he love his wife? <laughs> Is that a sign of love? I just, I just have one word to say. You would have to be a regular viewer of our show. Poor Python. <laughs> Poor Python. That's, a, right, Char I that's I a Charlie Rose line. That's a Charlie Rose line. Okay. I like a nice Python bag. I didn't realize they were so bad. <laughs> it is now 8.09.